Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. Oh my gosh, working on such a huge haul today. There's a helicopter directly over my house. Can you hear that? I don't know what's going on. First of all, this is the first day that I've actually styled my short hair and I'm on the fence about it. I don't know. I just like, I don't, I don't know if like the waves were too much. I'm just not hundred percent sure, but I know we're going to get there. Um, but we are doing some huge hauls. I ordered a bunch of stuff from H and M that it all came so we're doing a huge neutral haul look at how many pretty neutrals it's pretty much all like cream and black essentially like and not pretty much like it 1000% is only just cream and black um and then we have some colorful stuff from Hutch some stuff from Abercrombie but this is the behind the scenes of what it can look like filming some of the stuff for you guys and then I decide what I like what I'm gonna keep what I'm gonna return etc um sometimes it's gifted sometimes it's not I bought all the stuff from H&M some of the stuff from Abercrombie I bought some was gifted Hutch was gifted so I always like to like disclose but we've got like some little PR packages to open um yeah I just like haven't really like leaned into holiday style yet so I thought today it would be fun to do that but um those videos will all go up as scheduled so stay tuned for some of those i don't know if this is going to go live first or what but i have so many fun holiday events this week Tanin, say hi hey so we're just hanging out working it's just a work from home day isn't that every day actually it is um but anyway happy vlogmas and uh we'll take you in on the process today guys this room is such a mess but i'm having so much fun with these hauls because I don't know. I feel like I went through a little rut where I wasn't super excited about anything and I'm super motivated to completely like clean up my closet and like have a lot more like mix and matchy capsule style pieces. So I really do need to get on that capsule wardrobe video for you guys. Um, but look at this sweater. It's like the softest fleece from H and M. I just, it has this fun little logo. I don't know. I don't know why I'm into corporate America on my sweatshirt, but there's something about that one that just feels nostalgic. I remember I'd like have a Coke as like a treat every now and again at my grandma's. Anyway, um, we're going to try to whiz through some more hauls. Um, and then I was supposed to see Sparky tonight, but now I don't know if I am, but I just got invited to a little baking class with Victoria's Secret that I'm going to take you to guys later this week but I think today we might just focus on another like reset day of getting calm vibes in our house I think I might do a bit of a closet clean out so we'll see how it goes I think during the holidays it's really nice to like center yourself and be around the home as much as you can I think a lot of people save that stuff for like New Year's or spring cleaning but I'm trying to like center myself as I go and do little bits of things as I can if you guys have any tips like that let me know but that five minute tidy or that ten minute minute tidy that my therapist told me about has been life-changing we got a lot of hauls and stuff done and now we're gonna eat oh, sweet greens to name got guacamole oh greens. hey i am a sweet green fan this one has steelhead and like hot sauce and half a half a what's the word i can't think of avocado why <laughs> i'm so hungry aren't you so hungry yeah oh mm. I'm impressed with the oh. little salmon. I What's already that? feel like I don't like the salmon. It tastes uh. fishy. Oh. Guys, I have a fear of salmon. I know it's silly, but I've had it cooked in ways I like it and ways that I don't. I'm going to try this. Maybe I'll be a grown-up. I ate a chip and it tasted like salmon and I think it scared me. <laughs> okay, when I eat... I'm really like flip-flopping like a seesaw right now. Okay, I like, I'm like, I like it. And then something happens. I'm like, I really don't. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe whether it has like cilantro sauce on it. Let's see. Okay, comment below and tell me a food that is like, everyone loves it. It's like trending, but you don't like it. And you just don't. Okay, tell me if there's a food like that for you. Because that's how I've been feeling about salmon my whole life. All right, upon further inspection, it's not bad. I'm just getting used to it. It's a very strong flavor. It does help to have all the other elements, like this jalapeno vinaigrette infused, some hot sauce. I'm not like gagging, but I'm not like doing cartwheels. Are you not liking avocado? What's going on? I'm a mashed avocado type of lady. Mash yeah. it yourself then. This thing is hard. What's the problem? That's a half of an avocado. Like that's. Really, I know. I feel you like don't I'm have being, to eat it. I feel like I'm being like a brat because it's like I never get an avocado. It is kind of hard. It is nicer when it is smashed. Right. Let me see if mine's softer. I'm still working, but I changed into my cozies. I have been wearing these like Skims, this little like teddy set. I have been cleaning out my closet, and you can see the floor, which is a big deal. However, there's a huge pile of things I need to organize and sort. 
Um, obviously with these hauls, it can create quite a mess in the house. So I'm trying to find like a system. Um, but everything is generally like has a place for everything. But I found like when I was packing for all my trips, like I just never got quite back on the ball. Like I just kept dropping my suitcase and grabbing another and then like shooting a haul and making piles instead of putting things away. So I'm gonna try to come up with a better system. I've been able to like figure out how to make other things work in the house as far as like keeping things orderly. So it's just a process um, for me. I have undiagnosed ADHD, but I definitely, I mean, even probably watching these videos, you guys probably see it, but I'm a bit like all over the place. Um, and I, yeah, I, I kind of struggle with like organization in my mind, let alone in my space. So it's been a learning process. I think growing up, it was, it was just something I never even really was like taught um like by my parents my parents were divorced and so I'd always go back and forth um like every two days and so the majority of my stuff was like always in a bag and I never really had like that one bedroom that I had a system for because things would always be different and I know like some people react to that with like creating order going over the top to create order I think for me it's just my brain never naturally aligned that way which I know can be true for a lot of creative people but for me it's probably when one of the biggest challenges trying to create like a harmonious home uh, especially with like the ins and outs of like the products that I shoot and stuff for my job so it's just something I'm working through but as I get better with it I'm happy to share my tips um, if you are a master organized person comment any tips you have below I think for me it's just like creating systems and then maintaining them so I love that like five to ten minute tidy thing I keep bringing up because if I you know just agree to do like before I go to bed at night and I'm getting like undressed and like getting ready for bed like things should go in their place. So I think one of my goals for the new year is that I don't want to make some crazy new year's resolutions, but I have slowly like been able to make my house a home. I've slowly been able to find a system that works for me. And that feels really good. I think this idea of like perfectionism is just not attainable. So anyway, I am proud of the fact that you can walk on the floor in this closet and like, you know, that my boots are there and not on the floor. So if you guys want a closet tour, you guys have been asking. I will probably make that a priority in the new year to kind of finish this room because I never finished it and then I had a problem with the lighting fixture and then yeah it's just been this room has like never quite come together I think I want to sell this vanity anyway um this is a this is the holidays and I feel like I don't need to bite off more than I can chew I'm just trying to like maintain so that I can get to be with my family and do all that so I think if you need a reminder too to not let yourself spiral over all the things that you wish you could do better or that you want to change or work on. I think that just taking it one thing at a time is a way to do it. I also want to repaint my nails tonight, but I'm shooting some content tomorrow. Um, and I wonder if these would be like too distracting, but I like love this color for the holidays. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. Basically, here's my nail polish collection. I use the same neutrals all the time if you can tell it's just like neutral 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 shades all sorts of like fun neutrals and then there's like hi one fun red so I think we might take a bath paint our nails tonight sit by the tree I have a ton of more work to do I just put my laptop on the charger because it's dying um but yeah we just had a very chill day I'm sorry this vlogmas was very uneventful it feels so good to have a clean house. A couple of Sparky's gifts came today. Um, so I got him an espresso machine. Don't worry, he doesn't watch this. I got him an espresso. Um, we make coffee with mine all the time. And this is the new like Virtuo. It was on um, Black Friday sale. And I really wanted to get it for myself. So I feel like the best gifts that you give are the ones that you want to receive yourself, right? So I really wanted it. And I even got it like the green color of my kitchen. And the other day he was sitting here and he was like, I really love that kind of green. You know, it reminds me of like Twin Peaks. It's like a cool moody green. And I was like, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So I got him. I'm not going to open it. But I got to figure out where to hide it because he's coming over this weekend. We have like 
a ton of things to do. We're having like a little anniversary date. So I don't really know how the heck I'm gonna hide it from him. I'll have to put it in like the closet in my guest room. And then I always drink out of this pink water bottle. So I got him a matching one because he was saying about how he wanted to have like a, like a nice water cup to drink out of that would fit in a cup holder in his car. So I got him the same one as me so we can twin, but I got him in that green. And I'm like, for some reason, this color reminded me of him. And then he confirmed that he loved it. Wait, this looks too small. I think this is smaller than the one I have. Wait, okay, this is the Simple Modern one. So um, I will link this below, but I love this. I have it in pink, um, but I got it for him in this color. And I think this might be a size smaller, so I might need to exchange it for the 28 ounce. Let's see which one is this. This is the 24. Dang it, I ordered wrong. Okay, well, I have the 28, so I think I'm probably gonna get him the 28. But this is such a good gift because I know that like everyone has like reusable water bottles, but I just think that this particular... It, it's insulated, it keeps things cold. It has like the rubber straw. Like I like drinking from a straw. This one's perfect for like on the go, like in the car and stuff. And my dear friend Allie gave this to me for Christmas last year and so I'm obsessed and it's a gift that I keep giving. So this is a great gift idea. I've been brainstorming about what gifts I wanna give him and I told him I wanted to keep things like at a certain level. Like we didn't want, I didn't want him to like go over the top. And so we agreed that we would each get each other one practical gift, one romantic gift and one funny like silly gift. So, I'm just kind of like, so the practical gift, I guess I got him too. I got him the coffee maker and this, um, but this is more like a stocking stuffer. And then for the romantic gift, I'm kind of torn. For the silly gift, I've got a couple ideas. I read this online and I loved this sentiment. Um, somebody that I follow said that like, don't give people things they don't need like just to give them things. like. Think about what they do and what would really integrate into their lives, something they get a lot of use out of. And one great idea, if you're not sure what to get somebody, is to think about something they do all the time or something they already have that they use a lot and then give them an upgraded, like nicer version of that that would last even longer. So I really like that sentiment. And I've been having so many fun ideas for like gift baskets or like gift like kit ideas. And then I also had a ton of really cute ideas for like couples or best friends or long distance. So stay tuned because I'm gonna share more of those soon. So tired. I had a long day um, of like working, shooting. I got so many things shot today. I somehow cleaned out my whole closet. The whole house is so clean. I did some laundry. I'm so tired. I'm gonna hit the hay. I know we didn't do too many holiday things. Okay, fine. There's two PR packages I wanna open and we could have like a little mini Christmas moment by the tree, should we? I got this Skylar Clean Beauty box and then I got this It Cosmetics box. So I can't wait to see it's inside. It's so cute. I'm just gonna prop y'all up on that handy dandy Nespresso box. Whoa! Okay, I thought this was like an advent calendar and it kind of might be, but it's like a game. It's a road map to building your perfect brow. All shapes welcome. How cute is this? Like what the heck? So Power Town, Natural Curve. This is like another level. What? Oh my gosh, so cute. So in every little pull away, there's like a little product to go with it. Okay, I kind of think that we should do this together and actually do our brows with it. What do you guys think? This is so cute. I feel like we actually need to like go through and do it together and I am too sleepy so I'm not gonna tonight. But let's see what's in this Skylar box. It is like Christmas. I'm excited because I'm not gonna have like a traditional Christmas this year so we're just doing Christmas on our own and there's nothing wrong with that. Ta da we got it. OMG, this smells amazing. <gasps> oh, you know how I feel about candles. <gasps> oh my gosh, nature inspired scents. Oh my gosh, 45 hours burn time. Eee, I love candles. So they sent this vanilla sky candle and then they sent this fall cashmere candle, which this is what I'm really excited about smelling because I haven't ever smelled this scent from them. Um, and then, oh, they sent fall cashmere as a scent. <gasps> if this smells good, I might wear it on my little like winter fall date with Sparky tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow. It got rescheduled for Friday, but whatever. And then they sent like this little mini guy. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. Really, really wish that I could let you guys smell this. 
Oh, oh my god, it's so cozy and amazing. I might put this one in my bedroom. So I always write an intention. If you guys haven't heard this from me yet, it's a really fun tip. Each time before I light a new candle, I write an intention underneath, like something that I want to come to fruition with the time of lighting that candle. And it's usually something that like I have some control over, but I like write it as if, if an I am statement. So like I am, so you're kind of like screaming scripting I guess what you want to happen and it's really fun at the end of the burning the candle that you can like read it and like be reminded of it so every time I start a new candle I can I literally just want to crawl inside this and eat it good lord oh my gosh this is vanilla sky I thought that this was the fall cashmere this entire time oh my god it smells like coffee I love this I do not remember loving the vanilla perfume this much it smells like cappuccino, it truly does. Well, that means that we get to open the fall one then, which is very exciting. Look at these cute little fall leaves. Okay, I love this. This is actually like the kind of scent that I would want to wear every day. It's like a little masculine, like a little bit like kind of spicy. I don't know how to describe it, but okay. I'm gonna be wearing this perfume every day and I'll let you guys know what I think. I've been looking for something that's like a little, I don't know, it has like a little mystery to it. Like I love like Santal and stuff like that, but I don't like it because everyone wears it. And this smells just like a little warmer and friendlier. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to bed now, but I wish I could light one of these, but maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Update, I sprayed this on myself so I could smell it all night long. Oh, it's so good. Tell me to get up and wash my makeup off and get into bed. Somebody tell me. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's Vlogmas. Mm -hmm.